know if y'all recognize this place right here. But, uh, Jardot Steel. I was here probably about two, three weeks ago. I made a video on it. I was throwing chains. Everybody been asking me, where the hell I been at? Everybody like, where you been, D? Man, I've been working. The only reason I got some time now to make a video is because, woo, smash surfing out here. All these potholes. I had a 10 o'clock appointment time this morning, drop, dropping off some plywood. I had 10 o'clock appointment time. I didn't have a window, 10 o'clock, appointment, appointment only. So I already knew, I said, they're not gonna unload me before my appointment time. So I was like, ain't no need for me to get there. Eight, nine, eight o'clock, usually, I usually try to go as early as I can. I said, ain't no way, ain't no reason for me to go drop this load off and they're gonna make me sit there and wait. I got there at 9.30, checked in, got my tarp off, uh, got my straps off, all of them except two, because the guy came out and caught me. He was like, you got to keep at least two straps on when you're pulling in the gate. So I had to keep two of them on. And, uh, and then I just ended up sitting there. And while I was sitting there, I already had my next load. My next load already came uh, with a 12 o'clock. A 12 o'clock to 12.30 window for me to get my next load. And I was uh I was like 45 minutes away from getting from picking this load up that I'm picking up now. So I didn't make it. They didn't they didn't start unloading me until um I think they came and got me like 11.50. <laughs> they came and got me and I've been there ever since 9.30. My appointment time was at 10. And I'm like, man, I don't understand why these shippers, why do they set these appointments? Uh, and, and, and they can't even, they can't unload you. I mean, if that was the case, you know, they could, they could have gave me a 12 o'clock appointment. So like, I, but the reason I'm talking about this is like I've been saying, I haven't had time to really get on YouTube. And you know, I, I do talk to y'all, some of y'all that hit me up on Instagram and, and you know, uh, Snapchat. I, I do talk to some people, but, you know, a lot of people been hitting me up like, yo, where you been, man? You know, we ain't seen you on YouTube. Hey, at the end of the day, you know, I'm a truck driver too, man. <laughs> I'm a truck driver. Hey, I've run, I been running a lot of short hops. See, when I was in Mountain and I was I was running those long miles, it's like, it's like I had a whole lot of free time on my hands. Like, you know, I could, I might, I might sit at the truck stop, you know, three, four hours extra than I needed. Like now, with, like with this company right here, it's like, um, I don't got time for nothing. <laughs> I don't got time for nothing, man. 10 hour break. When it, when it get like nine hours, 30 minutes, I'm sitting in the damn, let me see what this guy want. Yeah, they come get you. They, they pull up right here to that uh, stop sign right there. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah, you wood or you had wood? Nah, I got it from back there. Back there, uh -huh. back there where we was at. When, um, when I uh, got the, the back where that white lady was at, they had it back there. For real? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, but I mean, they got some wood out here too, though. But since I was already back there, I went ahead and got it because she said something about it. So I went ahead and got it. How many did you get? I got eight. Yeah, ain't nobody in front of you? Uh -huh. Ain't nobody in front of you? Uh, -huh. uh okay, hopefully uh -huh. that. All right. That's the old owner out right there in front of me. That's his, that's his nephew that he training. Yeah, I met him back there at the TA shop. They got a TA shop back there in the back. It was my first time actually, um, my first time actually, you know, Going to that TA shop. I thought I was lost. <laughs> hey, if y'all ever been here, it was Jano Steel. Where is that? Petersburg, Virginia. If y'all ever been here, you might have go went down that long path. I'm like, man, I didn't even, it's like it's like a mile on the on a gravel path. Hell, I didn't even know. But yeah, I met that guy back there. But um 
Anyway, like I was saying, man, yeah, I had a, I had a load. From, the load I'm picking up now from 12 to 12.30 had to pick it up. And what time is it now? 2.19. I just got here. Now, if they would have unloaded me right at 10 o'clock, like they're supposed to, I would have been here by 12. And, you know, hey, I'll be on the road right now. Headed, headed, I'm, I'm headed to Scottsdale, Georgia. Oversized load. I got my oversized gear right here. That's how I met that guy. That's how I met that guy back there in the back. But yeah, man. Oh yeah, but I forgot the main reason I started talking. They rescheduled my appointment to four o'clock. My dispatcher sent me a message on my way here. And it was like, um, they rescheduled to four o'clock. But she was like, go ahead and check in. Yeah, I was gonna do that anyway. And when I just when I just went and checked in at the at the uh, guard shack, the lady was like, um, your appointment's not till four o'clock. So I was thinking she was about to tell me to go ahead and pull off the scale and pull it to the side or whatever. I said, what? I thought it was at 1230. <laughs> like, like, hey, I knew it was at four o'clock. Hey, so I don't know. By the time, hey, they slow this place too. Yeah, they slow here. By the time they get to me, it might, might be four o'clock. 220. Hey, I appreciate everybody being checking in with me, man. Let me give a couple shout outs real quick. Give a couple shout outs to my new subscribers. Ones I talk to, Nick Padding over there at Melton. Always crying about his dispatcher. Nick Padding. Send your Koto on Snapchat. Send your send your Koto. My dog, he over there at CRST. Running up the bands, training. He gonna tell me he ain't got no money to buy that new Silverado. I know you got it, send your Koto. You ain't training for nothing. What the other, let me, uh, other, oh, my other buddy, what's his name? He, he hit me up on Instagram. He said, what's the flatbed game? I said, that's us, man, we the flatbed game. 24, 24 hit a quitter. Uh, I over mean, here, 24 hit a quitter. Hey, hey, you a bad man, 24 hit a quitter. Real name, Joe, Joe Copley. He told me he had the drive in game. I said, I don't know too much about driving. He said, me neither. But I'm, uh, I'm learning. You know what I told him? Classic YouTube punchline. I said, whatever you do, be great at it. That sounds like something I would have said on YouTube, man. But yeah, man, I'm still here. Y'all know, y'all know, y'all been, y'all been missing me. You know, I'm still here. I'm in good spirits, busting my ass, running these short hops. When I was in Melton, be on, be on the interstate, pass by another Melton driver on the other side. You see him throw his hand up. Y'all know y'all melting drivers, y'all know how it is. Break down there, break your neck, wave at the other melting driver. Man, he, hey, the PNS drivers, they, they be so focused. <laughs> man, you don't even think about waving. You might you might get a wave every now and then. Most of the time, people be too be too focused. Too focused on doing what they gotta do. I like my little afro. Barbara skipped it the other day. It's all good. Anyway, gang, I catch up with y'all. Let me sit here and chill. Go ahead and get my chains out. Cause um uh, I am pulling some steel. Yo, check this out. I only had to wait like 10 minutes before he came and got me. Last time I came here, I had some words with the one guy about the damn dunnage. I couldn't understand what the hell he was saying about where to put it at. I was like, look, man, I can't understand you. Your hand saved us through the damn forklift. I said, look, you got to talk. Talk out loud. I don't know what the hell he was talking about. It's all good though. We got the job done. That's the owner operator right there in that white truck.
Watch out now. Don't let the man hit you. Get it, D. Hey, run that shit up, Trace. 